All right, guys, uh, we're here on the B stream in <laughs> Super JJ, me purple, and we got uh, Freaky against Nimsh coming up. Uh, got got a good good match. See a caster Nimsh actually exploit his Hearthstone skills. I'm excited for this one. I've, so I've never actually seen Nimsh no, play Hearthstone. I, mean, yes, I think he played, I don't know, uh, he, yeah, one year ago. In he tournament? got the rank 10 from rank 15 this morning. He's been crushing it. He was preparing hard. So, like let's see. Um, we ha I have actually just started spectating here. Nimsh, can you invite me to spectate? Uh oh. Oh, that, that, that's uh, that's not yeah, good. Yeah, we need to get into the games here. Oh, there you go. Cool. All right, so let's see what they're leading on. Mm, those have to spectate. Rogue for Freaky. What do we have? Nimsh? The Paladin versus Rogue? Mm, that's going to be a good. Uh, oh, Love Hub tends to mean it's the same. Um, I have to uh, spectate Freaky as well, so we have to get that one somehow. He has to turn spectator mode on. <laughs> yeah, so coin juggler into juggler <laughs> into believe is pretty good against Rogue. Kind of mm -hmm. gets stomped by backstab SI, but when you don't have it, you get to kill them pretty fast. There we go, nice. Yeah. Uh, I don't see backstab SI, so this. Oh, I uh, can't click confirm. No, you don't get to pick the oh. cards for the players. Oh, we're we're just <laughs> casting. They they make their own decisions. So it seems like standard Rogue and midrange paladin. Uh, low fab tends to mean secret, I think. Oh, oh. Double, double, double cog hammer tends to mean secret. Yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess. Yeah. Although the card's really good. Well met. The pleasure is mine. Mm, I mean, sprint is not the card you want to have. No, uh, it usually means you get the actually no for like eight. Sludge? No. All right, so. So we got Nimsh on the secret paladin, probably secret paladin, I, I tend to say, and I and guess Freaky plays oil rogue. Um, Coin mini, but standard paladin. Yeah, the problem is like for the rogue, you're missing like your key cards. There's no fan of knives, no backstab, no SI. That feels bad. Yeah, there's not much of anything. So he might decide to actually just cycle this blood mage. It does exactly the same as hero power minus, but it gets you a different card instead of getting a dagger charge. That's true. Uh, and spell power doesn't actually do that much in this matchup because most of the things have one health. And yeah, it's looking like he's leaning towards cycling the blood mage. I mean, there's not much of a option I with this kind of hand. I like it a lot. Uh, Love Fab's like really good in this matchup. So, so you just, I mean, you, you want have you have to respect it because of Fan and Ice, I think. So yeah. So he's gonna hit the bubble in and play his Juggler, and hope there's no backstab SI. Also, if you don't kill it, they can just trade into your Juggler with the Hero Power and yeah, blood yeah. So that's that's not too tempting. Oh man, I haven't seen Nims playing in a tournament for ages. He's thinking hard. Thinking hard and long. This is the deciders match, right? Like, if whoever loses this series is out. Oh, I've, uh, you're more paying more attention to me. Isn't it? I was, it, I was it playing ping pong. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think it is like that. <laughs> it is. Maybe I'm mistaken. Yeah, he's gonna respect it. Good play by Nim. Um, Preparation is a good one, uh, but not this turn. It's gonna be a deadly poison turn. Kill the Prep is actually a key draw, so you can cycle through your backstabs, SIs, yeah, pen of knives. Right. Although, he, although he's probably going to lean towards playing that Shredder next turn. Yeah. Shredder on 4 is really good. Cockhammer is a good card against Rogue because Divine Favor is a problem together uh, paired with the Taunt. Oh, the Divine Shield, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Divine Shield, yeah. yeah. It's really annoying. Yeah. And he has 2 and it's on curve, so it's, it looks pretty solid here. Pushes, all, it also does 6 damage. It's, mm -hmm. it's Fireball that affects the board in a way. Cockhammer is a good card. It really is. Oh, there's a backstab, though. That's. Is that good? The divine sh um, this divine shield makes things awkward. Yeah, it really does. Uh, do you so you give up the possibility of having a big blade flurry turn lot like coming up when you make this attack with the dagger. Mm -hmm. But he's got a solid minion curve. I mean, you also want to play around blessing of kings, and that would have been a problem, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you just don't want to give the pattern. Oh, 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 there's, oh. there's. You've been calling every card. No. You should you should be talking to your like monitor while you play your matches, JJ. Oh, I'm doing that. Yeah, we will see later on. Uh, yeah, this shredder is a problem, and I guess Lofeb's gonna get meted by Lofeb here. Ooh, Azure Drake. That's is that better? Mm, it I think Lofeb is nice because you can stop a possible blessing, and blessing yeah. is really good here. Is blessing a king's better than five drop though? Probably not. I mean, what what is the? I guess the Drake just dies to the bubble and the, the weapon. Mm -hmm. But That's four damage is four damage. Mm. Like four is a lot. 
And also, I mean, you can maybe save the Drake for the spell power. Lothab is just a better body. I actually don't even mind the, the heal bot here. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad. Oh, All three five drops are very viable this turn. Love that base is good, though. And getting the Shredder does nothing. I, I think you really want to play the low fab or the Rogue Snowballs out of control, and that's normally never good. Yeah, if you play Belcher, it gets sapped, it gets a vest or something like that. You're not going to have a good time. Yeah. So I'd expect Nimsh to just drop his low fab. And uh, if uh, if uh, Freaky doesn't actually trade, the the second Cog Hammer on the low fab might actually do work, depending mm -hmm. on where the Divine Shield lands. I mean, you really want to drop down the slope. Like, otherwise. Do you kill the Shredder too? Uh, I think so. Killing a Shredder is never. T why not kill the enemy low fab? Mm. Uh, I like that too, actually. Seems a bit more tempting. And if you're always. If but you're then you still have to deal with the Shredder to turn after, and the, his sh the opposing Shredder gets to pick up the trade on the mini bot. So that's a little awkward. It's, it's not easy. I mean, the low fab is. I, I'd lean towards killing the Shredder, but that's just me. Or you just go face. I like the face. <laughs> <laughs> Healbot is, is going to negate that route because, yeah. Well, there's only 10 showing. I don't think he needs to heal yet. That's true. Mm, so let's see. What What is Nim's lineup? We have Nimsh on the Paladin here. I, we haven't seen a secret yet, so let's wait with that one. Um, he has a Warlock left. I mean, Nimsh is always well, favored to bring a Sulok because... Freaky of fact, you're like... Oh, well, the, there's secrets in this deck. Because okay. That is a mysterious yeah, so challenger. That's a secret. So Nims has secret pattern. I, I guess Sulok and Aggro Druid. Yeah. He is more like an aggressive player. He's, he's got options that are not uh, mysterious challenges turn. So yeah. Like, so f and Freaky has Rogue, Paladin, Warlock. So kind of pretty even. Just that uh, Nims has a Druid and um, Freaky has the Rogue. Yeah. I, I like Nims's lineup because uh, I'm uh, the biggest advocate of Druid in the world. Druid's good. Druid in last hero standing is just really powerful. Yes, it is. I think there's no no more. Like, Secret Pattern is kind of the same, but Druid is just ridiculous. So, so he goes ahead and kills his ass, Drake. Keep ignoring the Shredder till all your dreams come true. So yeah, it's a good strategy. I mean, having a double sprint in the hand against the Secret Pattern, it's nothing you can be happy about, and you're missing key cards like Blade Flurry. Yeah, there's this hand is not good for Rogue yet. No, I think it's about as expensive as, as it gets. Uh, two s two sevens, two fives. Yeah, it's he had all. He had both Drakes, low fab, and both sprints. So that yeah. is not good. What if he went something like Azure Drake, like prep fan and ice, and then choppy choppies the six six? That's really good, right? Um, he can't do it because there's a noble sacrifice up. Oh yeah, yeah, and he also doesn't have fan and ice. Yeah, yeah. but I believe this is how you play. That, that is normally the situation as a rogue. You oh, that's a misplay. No, no. Um, the problem is if <laughs> you attack advice. here as the rogue, you actually increase the yep. board power of your opponent, and that is not And cool. it is competitive spirit, but we did not <coughs> yeah. see the repentance go up on you. Uh, we didn't see the... So there's a the competitive spirit, there's a get down, and uh, avenge, and redemption, uh, is it? Yeah, and redemption. So we actually increase the opponent's board power, yeah. that's not this really good for This you. attack is scary, and there is a lot of damage on board for... Uh, ooh, prep. And where's the Avest going? So I guess the Secret Pattern just has Lethal next turn. That's it. He's going to kill the 5-4 and the 2-1, I guess. Mm -hmm. And there is going to be 7-9 plus 4 plus 2. 15 damage for the Paladin. So it's looking like the evil Secret Paladin is going to take it. And Nipsch with the well played. It's just a top deck challenger. It's just... It's it's yeah. such a swing. And the Rogue, if it doesn't have like the, the tempo cards like Zap, or maybe a backstep flurry, stuff like that. You you just don't yeah. win. Just such an expensive hand, drawing into double sprint. Never you never really have the time to play it in one sprint. Yeah. And I Nimsh hitting the challenge at around six was a really good play. Like not drawing a secret until turn six is insane usually. <sighs> Feels bad, man. So what do we have left Nimsh, for Nimsh played that game really, really Freaky well. Freaky has the paladin on his own left and a warlock. Um I think you go handlock if you have handlock. Mm -hmm. Right, because it's a if you play paladin yourself, you're you have a 50 50, right? It seems like and, that. And uh, Freaky's hand is insane. There's a Molten Giant, a Hellfire, and a Four Drop. So you ship, a, ship away the Mountain Giant. He did. You got Love Fab, which doesn't really help that much, but I, I like his hand. It's a good hand. I mean, the slower Paladin list, 
it does a bit worse against um, the handlock because normally you don't find like find like a divine favor in it, so that makes the matchup dramatically yeah. worse. Yeah, and Zombie Cho is not good in this matchup either. Nah, like if I was a leper, no, that's a good card against handlock. Oh yeah, it's still like it's a good curve. I mean, you, you definitely don't ship away the Zombie Cho when you have it. No, no, you play it on one. It's never getting better. If it Deals if it attacks three times, it deals. Yep, damage. which is very likely. And you can even just use it for trading yeah, later. Absolutely. So it's better than drawing into it later and not playing something on turn one is also not really tempting. So just keep it. You have a curve. It's nice as a paladin. So I wonder if uh, this is the, a classic handlock or uh, the secret edition. Alder is very good in this matchup. Mm -hmm. Gives you enough tempo. You can just al aldering a Drake is pretty good because we we can't like silence it back. Yep. yep. Uh, Oh, this is looking like classic handlock once you see the the eight eight, right? The Ragnaros, excuse me. It's kind of weird that we see like a Ragnaros in this token heavy meta. It's definitely not very good against Paladin. No. <laughs> uh, but it's good in other matchups for sure. Yeah, that's true. Mm, the handlock hand looks really nice though. You have reward clear, you have heal and taunt. Yeah, there's definitely options in the hand. Oh wow. Mm. Uh Nimsh's hand is actually insane. Like, yeah. it's very expensive, but that's not bad in this matchup. If there's one deck which can, like, hold off this pressure, it's handlock because of the Molten Giant swing turns. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Nimsh does have this Alder for next turn. He just needs to find, like, a 5-drop and Dr. Boom, and he's got the Notorious Dr. 6, Dr. 7, Dr. 8, all the medicine. That's a problem. So, Coin Twilight Drake, for sure to play. The Hellfire is garbage. Red Divine Sheet on the Creeper is actually pretty nice. Yeah, because you can't insane. Like proc it and then Hellfire. Combat oh, wow. Good. That that fills out the curve really nicely. Yep. It's on a lot of pressure, and I think it forces Hellfire. So how, how does it work? You play this, and next turn you get the low fab and into six. And then boom? Yeah. Oh, that's that sounds good to me. Let's, let's try to do that if we're playing Secret I mean, Paladin. The, the problem with Secret Paladin is like it's so curve-oriented. You can just play your card of your, out of your hand, and you're almost never doing something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> just looking at the ace three and yeah, seeing yeah. a lot of Murlocs, pretty good time over there. Yeah. So putting putting damage on Drake's really good, mm -hmm. really heads up because he knows like Hellfire might happen. That's and, true. Uh, yeah, so like he's just taking it off. Heads up play here from Nim. Yep. And make sure the Drake actually dies when the Hellfire does happen. Even if he Hellfires, there will be the Drake. Um, he's Hellfire in this turn 100% <coughs> of the time. It's really no nice. No other play. But now he has at least a two two twos. Yep, absolutely. Does have resemble support control, and here comes the low fab, uh, because that is indeed it how Mr. Is it, is it happening? Foul I mean, blessing of kings is not too bad either. Oh, uh, it's one of the worst draws. I don't think you even play that, because you're playing challenger like next turn. Every anyway, you're gonna get your other sacrifice. That's out. true. Yeah, yeah. Or in, if you only play one, I guess it's fine. I don't think you play only one. It's like one of the best secrets. Yeah, it's one of the paladin secrets that actually does something. So. Yep, that's true. Um, Was that a Drexus just up there? I mean, yeah, that's a, a Drexus. Mm, getting the master does not help. I think you just drop the six drop. The question is now you're getting into spot Pelin lacks of burst damage. How low do you want to bring the warlock? But you set up lethal, but I don't give him like the swing turn. It's really dangerous to like put him to what? We there's seven damage, you, so you could put him to eleven. But I that's think that the mark we're talking of is fourteen here. Yeah. What if you just kill the Lofab, actually? Mm, might, be, might be the best play, right? Yeah, I think it's fine. Or just bring him down to yeah. two for Oh, the, yeah, this, this is yeah, this is good. Use the weapon, and then... You're going to get a new weapon. None of your business. We're getting a Venge. Not, the full, not the full Christmas tree, but definitely not bad. Mm -hmm. uh, so something like Dark Bomb and Big Game Hunter would punish this play. Yeah, but, that's true. Uh, that's not happening this game. So this is... Kind of a disaster. I think uh, he's got to play this Emperor and kind of pray he it's doesn't not, die. It's not that disastrous. You're going down to what? Eight? eight yeah. And normally the handlock doesn't have to yeah. ban uh, the pattern doesn't have to ban damage. So and if he recovers here, he has a good backup. Yeah, for sure. Uh, oh boy. That's a card. That's a lot of damage. So, you just YOLO it. And tr you want to keep the 6-6 six, six healthy, right? So you need to hit two juggles on that upper. Seems it's above average the chance to get it. If you yeah. have like four juggles. It, it's 50 50 either it happens or it doesn't. That's Hearthstone Math 101. <coughs> uh, 
Then again, like, he doesn't need to push damage this turn. He has Tyrion as a follow-up, and Tyrion's insane. But if you don't push damage, I don't think I don't think it's good to just sit here. You want to really pressure the handlock. I don't think you want to put him to 10. Like, he, he, he's already so low. You already did see one Hellfire, but, like, I guess, like, I guess Nymph doesn't know it's, like, uh... Oh, wow, oh, okay, no. you, dev, you just go for it. Oh, yeah! I think you just go fool it. Knife Juggler says face. I mean, the Knife Juggler like, guides you here. Oh, hey, you, you the one thing is, like, Noble Sacrifice it yeah. won't proc because yeah. the board is full now. Oh, that's a thing. Which is so you just trade a 2-2, two -two, right? Oh, no, you just go all face. <laughs> but Put no. him to 4. Uh, the multi giant was going to be very cheap anyway, so I, don't, I like this. There is one big talking point. We don't see a mass removal. No, there's no second Hellfire. There's no Shadow Flame. Mm -hmm. uh, there is Molten Giant. What? True. Is that good enough here? Uh, like Molten, Mortal Coil, Molten, Heal Bot, and like Sun Fury is probably looking like the play. And this Emperor can feel free to hit into that Knife Juggler because the Noble Sack won't proc. Definitely, like, kind of a scary spot from, uh... So what do we do here as the hand? Like, you drop the Molten... Uh, is it, like, he doesn't know if he runs, like, Repentance, but he didn't see it last game, so you might just not play around that. Yep. Gets, uh... I mean, he gets all secrets proc'd here. And he probably knows it's a Noble Sacrifice there. Yeah, he should know, for sure. Yeah. yeah. All right, so he kills the Knife Juggler twice here. Uh, this 9 eight's gonna have a reasonable trade into that Molten. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Molten. Not as, bot. like, you need a second Molten here to make the turn, like, insanely good for you. Like, this is just okay, I guess. Yeah, uh, he's not dead. That's good. The Emperor gets a second proc. This, this Tyrion is going is to do, really like, really insane. Yeah. Alright, so it's, the 9 8 has to go into the Molten here. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, yeah, there's only 7 power you otherwise. push 4 more damage to the face. Something like Consecrate would have been insane. You definitely turn. kill the Emperor of Fear. There's no way around that. Yeah, it's like a 5-1. I mean, Ragnaros for 6 mana is not too bad. Too I bad. would play that card at 6 mana. <laughs> <laughs> In all my decks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's going to be a lot of trading involved. and um, <sighs> Can you outvalue the Handlock, though? Well, I guess it's Tyrion. Tyrion's good. Tyrion is really but good. But Handlock's hand is like free. To take that, trade that into the Emperor. Is he killing the Sun Fury as well, or is he going face for 3? I would go face for 3, right? Oh. Yeah, 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 face. I mean, you know that there's no more Moltens. Yep. And For now. Freaky has no Owl yet, mm -hmm. so that's... Wow, this is actually, like, super scary. I guess he could taunt, like, the Ragnaros and a Watcher or something. Yep. That Ancient Watcher definitely helps. I mean, you can taunt the Rag and the Watcher. Yeah. Knock off the shield. If you're Snipes. greedy, you even Oh, tap. you can't because Noble Sack. So, like, Ragnar... This Tyria... Oh, wow. This bubble is going to be really annoying for uh, Why not Freaky tap Yield. here? Uh... Then you can't play the Watcher. I, I, mean think you I think you need to play the Watcher this turn. You can? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's what... It's like five more health. Do that. Yeah. And let's see where Mr. Ragnar decides to go. Yeah, the pr oh. oh, that's I good. Cut. No, no is it bad. good? Oh, my that's God, good. that's good. So the Ragnar... So you trade the Tyrion and the 2-2 two -two into Rag. You then you swing at the 5-5. Five five. Yeah, you get to kill the 2-1, one, the one, I guess. Yeah. This is this top deck is insane. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's I guess it's not Doctor Boom, but it's still insane. That and Boom would have been like the best top yep. deck. So it was a two out of seventeen. But that this is how you become the I best mean, secret pals in the world. How world. many secrets are left there? I think yeah, two. There's another noble sack, that's for sure. No, no, that's not another. No, no. we only dealt with one. There's another noble oh, sack, and there's definitely another revenge. So there's yeah. two. There's two secrets, but it's also still a six six. Yeah, so that's, that's a big talking point. Yeah. So Ragnaros not doing the job. Just imagine it would have like hit the two two. Such a such a huge difference. Well, no, the bubble being gone is actually insane. Yeah. Like Tyrion being dead is actually kind of good in a way. Uh, but you just get a swing with the Ashbringer, get the clean. Oh no, secrets left at all? Nothing. Wow. Wait, it doesn't mean he runs the one. What? Does it yeah. There's it's like a four secret edition, I guess. Weird. Four or five, maybe. Oh, <gasps> molten, off the top, zero That's the mana. Best I think you play that card. Uh, uh, sludge, sludge pusher. So it's and heal bot. So does this Palin run an Iron Beak? Uh, that well, it doesn't actually matter because you can just 
You can just play the heal bot and Belcher. Like the owl's the owl doesn't put, uh, how much is the owl damage is the owl thirteen? And he goes up to fifteen. I mean this secret pattern draw is insane, but the handlock draw on the other side is actually <laughs> Also also <laughs> the Emperor living for two yeah. turns is pretty good. I mean Maybe he should have killed it. I don't know. It felt like a losing play to kill it at the time. Uh, so top deck Iron Beak. Uh, Shredder's good, but is there just lethal? Uh, I think there's just lethal here, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think you're dead. Yeah. There's. I don't think there's any way it's not lethal. So in the end, I think Freaky will take this game. Yeah. He can take three from the Belcher, go to nine. Then kill a 3-3, three, three, and then there's still 10 in play with uh, 3 damage burst from the Draxxus yeah. from Freaky side. So, yeah. Nim's just trying to figure out if there's a way to survive. I don't think so. No. There's no way of killing off your own Shredder for, like, an Anoitron or mm. a heal. Let yeah. No, nothing really cute. No. But, yeah. Handlock's really good in this matchup. Especially when you draw two Molten Draxxus. Yeah, especially if there's, like, no equality. Yep. For sure. And your Emperor lives for two yeah, turns. Exactly, exactly. Uh, yeah, the Divine Favor lists tend to be a bit better against uh, Handlock. Yeah, it's just because of the. Yeah, yeah the, like the six or seven card exactly, reload. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, Nimsh gives the well played. He, he, he figured it out. There's no way of surviving. That Molten's out deck, though. Yeah. That Molten's out deck. If there's no Molten. It would have looked still okay-ish because of the Draxus, I guess, but not that. It wouldn't have been this bad. He wouldn't be dead. <laughs> On bomb. Oh, there was an owl in the deck. I mean, Molten and Hellfire are about the most important cards in this matchup. All right, so uh, Nipsch's Paladin is eliminated. Mm. So he is left with a Druid so and a Warlock himself. Mm -hmm. uh, if, it's that, if, if it's Zoo, he's not going to play Zoo. Uh, if it's Matlock, he definitely w would probably play Matlock. Mm. That looks good against Handlock. Yeah, because it runs the double BGH. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if it's the Handlock Mirror, we'll see how comfortable he is. But Druid is good against Handlock. I mean, Handlock Mirror is Druid's always really interesting good. to watch. Druid's really good against Handlock, though. Yeah, it's true. You just play it. Uh, it depends. It's like, Aggro Druid's not actually that good against Handlock. Mm, it's it depends it's on the start. You need like a really bursty start. And them not to have answers. But yeah. yeah. I think uh, the mid-range mid Druid, I think, is more consistent mm -hmm. against Handlock, for sure. Chooses the mirror. There's no way to Suzu at this point. No. So he's uh, playing Handlock with the Demon Edition mm -hmm. uh, compared to the, the regular edition. How good is Ragnaros in the mirror? Because like, if it goes face, if your opponent your plays like double it is molten. It's interesting. Sometimes it pushes it, uh, it, pushes it into a uh, molten range, but sometimes it just kills your opponent. So yep. But Nimsh, have it does, Nimsh does know about it, though. You like, have he, he revealed it last game, which is like, definitely big. You have like. Oh, uh, that's a power overwhelming. Might be combo lock. With demons? If this happens, um, I think the combo version has like a huge edge. Does Freaky know about this? No. I don't think so. Yeah, because arcane you don't in the mirror. You, if you're just if it looks like the mirror, you do not play around more than like eight bursts, which no. is like doom guard, dark bomber, yes, something, exactly, something like that. So that could be scary. Uh, uh, so freaky finds a big game hunter, not that good at this point, and there's gonna be a lot of hero power involved. in this So matchup. it might be just normal demon handlock with, with arcane golem and faceless, with just a bit of burst. Like like old school handlock like the Leroy faceless edition. Yeah, but I didn't think Leroy would be a bit too expensive. You rather have like an arcane golem yeah, because you pay two mana more and get two more damage. In gang boss as well. Wow. I have seen Mazi playing a list like that on stream. He made like rank two legend with it, so nice. it's not too bad. It might be that version, but it runs double BGH as I remember, and it might just give you the edge in this matchup. <coughs> oh, um, mm. Us? Excuse me. Excuse me? Excuse me. Uh. Mm. All right, so this coin Twilight Drake is probably happening. Mm. He's got the big game hunter follow up. He has the owl at hand. Like he can react to whatever. Uh, Nip this hand from Freaky is him. as good as it gets. And this double imp gang boss is not the going to do yeah, anything. Yeah, it doesn't do anything at all in this matchup. So he's got to play the Void Color here. Yeah, and hope there's no Owl. Unfortunately, there is one, and you're getting quite punished for that. Double Argus will not do anything soon. And the M King boss just dies for free. The one one will kill the Owl. <laughs> <laughs> Feels bad, man. So it's looking like a tap Owl trade. Yeah. 
I mean, the, f the face damage is not valuable at all. Uh, the board control is. Second power of well, wow. Wow, this... Nimsh really wants to know it, huh? This is janky. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Doomguard and Power of Whelming have some bad synergy together. That's a bad uh, double pair hand. It's a yeah. triple pair. Is no, it actually, is it an all-card pair? Besides the Doomguard? Yeah. yeah. That is a lot of pairs. It's a good poker hand. That's a four pair. Uh, do you just Doomguard the Twilight Drake by any chance? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you give away your combo. J just give out a pair. Uh, one question, but if you run this combo version, do you run it on a Doomguard? I'm not sure. It's I guess he just like wants <laughs> demons for Void Color. But Maybe. he has a lot of demons. Maybe he doesn't have Melganis. Maybe he doesn't have big game under targets. Eddie. Oh, Mountain Giant's coming down here, isn't it? Yeah. No, he doesn't tap? Oh, he's going to Mortal Call after. Okay, that oh, that's good. Because yeah, that owl. makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Protects the owl, which is actually somewhat significant. And Nimsh has nothing for this Mountain Giant. Second Void Color is going to come down, but... He has 10 cards in hand, so he's got to do something after. He can't... He can tap. Dark Bomb did yeah. Drake. That's reasonable. Yeah. It looks like it's the play. And I think, like, this Mountain Giant's probably... Or maybe the, the Owl is going into the Void Color and then, Shadow like, Dark Bomb. The thing is, like, Freaky has... Everything. Yeah, he has everything. I think he. I like I like Freaky's hand a lot compared to them. Just I would take Freaky spot here. <laughs> I mean, if you knew it was combo lock and you know there's no Moltens, then you just belt your face here. But mm -hmm. Freaky doesn't know that, so he's gonna mm -hmm. probably respect Molten at this point. The only edge Nymph Nymph has at the moment is like the surprising effect with a little bit yeah. of burst. But Freaky's early game was insane. This game. It's the late game. It's coming on yeah, top of it. He transitioned from the early game to the late game like flawlessly. Maybe missing the Emperor, but can you ask for everything? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> A good Hearthstone player does, yeah. Oh, okay, maybe he knows. Maybe he knows. Mm, I think he just doesn't care because he has the Shadow Flame and the BJ BGH. Yeah, that's true. Shadow Flame off the top is like a dandy draw for uh, Nimsh. Nerubian Egg does not help. You might, if you, I think you don't play like the Egg or something, you really... If you play the Egg, you, then like Freaky knows what's up. But how do you survive here? Uh, you can just hit the Void Caller into the, into the Giant get Doomguard. So you play the boss first, guarantee, and you can kill the Giant. So you play him Gang Boss into... Uh, Doomguard. Wow, this is really hard. This, I, I have to say, it's like I think it runs double BGH, and that would be just an unfortunate draw. That's so sad for Nimsh if he has like two BGHs and like two yeah. else. Like the, these kind of decks tend to have like the tech cards yeah. to survive. Uh, yeah, that's really sad if he does have the, that. Yeah, that's looking like he feels the need to Doomguard that. Oh. Oh, okay. I like this too. That's that's a really good lineup. Yeah. You just you, and then you keep your dude alive. You kill the Drake. Yeah, that's that's a that's is a better that line. I think. Just, uh, is it lethal though from the other side? With Shadow Flame. Uh, BGH Shadow Flame trade. Now we can bring him down to four. And you Shadow Flame your Mount Giant. I don't think Shadow Flame your Mount Giant's enticing. I I mean you just play the boom maybe. And trade the owl and the watcher. So yeah, you just double trade into the doom guard, and the yeah. giant goes into the three five. You and then you have a other big threat. Yeah, that's reasonable. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, that seems fine. I don't. Maybe there's lethal. I don't know. I don't see it though. It's like good on board trades too. So might as well just take them. Yeah, I like this line. You're just um, Kill basically your removing uh, opponent's um, threats yeah. and developing Doctor. There is a Jiraxis in this deck as well. This Warlock deck looks super interesting. I mean, from Nim Nim's perspective, you need to use at least one PO here. Uh, you could get away with using Dark Bomb, I guess. Then, oh no, you can't because then you don't have. Uh, well, you. M 
I you guess you do. Argus here. Yeah, you definitely want Argus. You don't. You definitely don't want Boom to hit you in the face here. Uh, so yeah, the PO, the PO is like kind of okay, but you could also use Dark Bomb. It's more mana efficient, like Dark Bomb, Nerubian Egg, and Argus. And then you still have the POs for surprise. Yeah, I can see that. Um, it's really hard. And if you PO, the opponent knows that you're probably combo lock. Oh, tap. Oh, my God. I think he's got some big game unders in his deck. He's going oh. for the BGH. Might and be a best lineup. Might just be a heal bot here, too. Oh, no. You have to heal bot here. 50, there's eight on board with Ragnaros. Getting the Molten into the hand. So what is the play? Uh, put your faith in the Ragnaros. Seems good is to it me. good? It's pretty good. Or is the Belt or Duck Bomb better and push eight? <coughs> Ragnaros is... Bless you. Ragnaros is... I don't know. It's really hard to play that card. Yeah, just, just get it down. You know your opponent doesn't have BGH or... Yeah, he just doesn't have BGH, so just keep playing stuff that dies to BGH. Mm, abusive. Well, this Warlock list. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, man. Is he just... Is, is there a way to survive? Hmm. Uh, there's So there's 16 on board. The heal bot takes you to 19, but then you're dead to a 3 damage spell, which is like Dark Bomb or Hellfire. So... Uh, so there's no guaranteed way to survive here. Doom Healbot Argus? Is that good enough? Maybe you tap into the uh, BGH and yep. you can't heal. So I don't think there's a good way out. You yeah, can I go for the Argus, I think. That's the thing. Do you, can you, no, you can't even keep tapping for big, big game under at this no. point. You're too because low. you can't play the Healbot then? Yeah. Juraxxus, uh, you're just dead. That's definitely not Juraxxus. Oh, he goes for the tap. Oh my. What? That's Mazi's list. This is... It runs double BGH and he didn't draw it. One BGH in the first 20 cards almost. 17 cards in. Yeah, no BGH. Yeah. Never lucky. Okay. Eight. Uh, There's 16 oh. showing. But... Oh. But Ragnaros is not guaranteed damage, I guess. There's two Dark Bombs in the hand, so 6, 13, 14. I mean, you can't just Shadow Flame your... Oh, there's two Dark Bombs and uh, an Argus, so that's 8 from hand, so that's 16. That's one off. No, I think you can just um, clear the board of the Shadow Flame. BGH I think there's a 50-50 for Lethal here, if you just, like, Dark Bomb the, the heal butt, and you just go face with the rest. I mean, what you can do is, like, you Argus up the bomb, attack into the egg, Shadow Flame, hope the bomb kills the heal butt. That's very cute. I like it. <laughs> oh, Dr. Boom knows where the place is. Down to 9 health. I, mean, I, I don't think there's better than a 50-50 here. So go but that. he's in such a commanding position at this point. I mean, there, there are two heal bots used, so you might as well just go for this line. I like it. Yeah, I like the Dark Bomb base here. Set up the 50-50. And there you go. Rog Ragnaros. Good Ragnaros. And Freaky goes up 2-0, and Nimsh has his druid left. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's in his druid, but I'd be <sighs> pretty confident going druid into handlock. Yeah, um, so we have druid into handlock. I mean, it depends. If it's mid-range druid, you're like a bit more favored. Yeah. Um, and then like after that, he's going to feel kind of bad going into Freaky's paladin if mm -hmm. he does win. Uh, which... I don't know. I think uh, Druid's like really good in this matchup. I would set an Imshon Aggro Druid. And I think I was right. This is Aggro Druid, indeed. So search okay. for your Moltens and have a good life. Uh, just depends if... Oh, there's Molten and there's a big game on her. Two very good cards. Freaky he kept, kept the Mount Giant. Mount. That is... Uh, that's a good that's greed. Bo that's balls of steel. Yeah, I mean... I, I do not keep that card. No. I am not that brave. Having the BJ is not even that bad in this matchup if you're considering that there's cards like Fellweaver. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Innervate Bell Reaver is definitely a good way to die. It's oh. Luck. All right. So th is Nimsh going to keep this knife juggler? Yeah. Seems fine. So can Nimsh through it be two oh of boy. Ricky's decks? So there's the Bell Reaver lining up into a big game under him. I mean, as far as we know, Aggro do it can definitely do things. Oh, Coin Darnassus lets you do two drop, one drop the turn after. Mm -hmm. And Seems you're like just conceding to Hellfire at that point, but... I mean, I like Aggro it. Druid is just kind of an all-in deck. Yeah, you just play things and you kind of hope your opponent doesn't have the perfect things to counter you. Exactly. Uh, so I don't mind this Coin Darnassus. Hmm. Even this Coin Juggler is not bad either. 
It seems both fine with us. I, I think you actually would rather get your Darnassus Dark Bomb yeah, than because your Juggler. Juggler is more aggressive, pushes yeah. more damage. And you can also like develop your board way easier. Leopard Gum on one is actually reasonable as well because um, like you're on two, your opponent doesn't want a Mortal Coil. He definitely doesn't want a Dark Bomb. It feels bad, man. Goes for the Nassus. Seems and fine. Getting Double the second molten. molten. And the BGH. This looks... Oh, if we get a Hellfire here. Yeah, this is... Oh boy! It depends how aggressive Nimsh will play it here. I, if I were, if I were Nimsh, I'd go all in. <laughs> like this hand is so all in, you cannot beat Hellfire. Exactly. Just do it. There's a Dark Bomb finally. Uh, is Dark Bomb actually good here? Mm. You kill Darnassus, or you can kill Juggler. That's a tough decision. But if you tap, you can get closer to Knife Juggler or to Hellfire. Excuse me. And there's two Moltens in hand, so taking the damage Hellfire's, is definitely a good thing. Hellfire seems like the key card to get here. Kill it. Could also weaken the board a little here, but... Dude. But if you do this, you have no play next turn. No. Because you can't mount right off the Mulligan. I mean, he has to double Molt... Oh, oh my oh. god, he do has to play that. Yeah, you play Fel Reaver. <laughs> and get wrecked by BGH? <laughs> you play Fel Reaver every time here. It's th that's it, right? If it gets yeah. BGH, it's really bad. <laughs> Ah, then you just double juggle. It, it gives the hand look actually a play. It does give him a play, but... Um, I mean, Fricky has to be happy about that. Yeah, I guess. Mm. If you had a Mortal Coil to go with that BGH, that'd be sick. But I don't think it's that good. Like, I think Nimsh is okay. Mm? Darnass, it doesn't matter. Low Feb is a good one, though. Lepronome, so not the worst uh, discard. Savage Roar is definitely a good one. How about this double charge? Mm, bit greedy, but I like it. The thing is, like, how low do you want to bring him? I think this you, is true. You have a savage draw. How you about you just play one, see if you hit the juggle. If you hit the juggle, you just hero power. You but bring you down your opponent to 14, yeah. and you lose to Hellfire. Yeah. But you have lethal set up. Yeah. That seems like a play. Yeah. yeah. Nice. That's good. Uh, uh, yeah. And from the, like Nimsh's perspective, he has no confirmation if there's uh, Hellfire, because mm -hmm. like Big Game Hunter was better than Hellfire that turn, for sure. I mean, you might just go for the all-in strat. I mean, you, your hand is running out of cards. I definitely like charging, though. You will never outwell your hand lock, I mean. Oh, no. This is about choosing hand lock out. But these double bolts, it's like, it's so hard to play around these molten. No, I, I, you can't, you just can't play around Hellfire. It's just sometimes like that in hard So he stealths it. Oh, he hits it. So it's looking like a hero power. Yeah, it's looking. Yeah, he's setting up the lethal. Uh, and could, but does he even need to attack? Six, eight. Yeah, he needs to attack. Mm -hmm. Fourteen. Yeah, Hellfire is game. Where is the Hellfire from the top? Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I like what he did there. I really like what he did there. And uh, two molten gems. That's game. It's well, no, there's no heal. So you, if he draws Saber, Savage Roars, and draws Swipe, he wins. Yeah. So he needs to put his opponent to four, which is, and this is two plus four is four plus two from hero, yeah. two three from the hero. You put your opponent to three, so you, get you win one? with the top deck. Uh, well, if there's no taunt giver, you win with four through the claw. Mm -hmm. But you definitely win with swipe. I mean, that's, that's no the only line you can take it here. Is definitely the line. That was a good top deck. <sighs> that hellfire. I mean, the, the hellfire. If you get it, you win. If you don't get it, you lose. So yeah. you might as well uh, go for the swipe. I, I, like, I really like how Nimsh played this stuff. Like it was, uh, it was his only line. Yeah, set up I like it a lot. And have a chance to win the game. I mean, it's, uh, this is how you play through your outs. Yep. It, there's the big game hunter to meet his Val Reaver, the Hellfire to stop that, and a double molten. But so, like we we said this fit the before, guys. Like mm. this aggro drill list, it has to execute its own game plan and kind of hope that uh, its uh, opponent uh, doesn't have like the complete nuts. And Nimsh is going for it. And actually, the Fell Reaver actually helped them increase the odds of getting the swipe now. Mm. Those three cards burned that weren't all swipe. That isn't a uh, heal butt. So go for Drake, turn up a giant so you're yep. not as weak as to swi silence. And just set up for lethal. That's how it works. And uh, swipe or bust. And nope. No, so that's the so series. That'll be the series. Never lucky. Nimsh falls Baby to rage. Freaky. I think Nimsh played really well this series. I like it. Uh, sometimes you ca can't do anything, yeah. but... Uh, I think he played the series very well. Yeah. Um, sometimes unlucky. Sometimes going, your opponent has going, Hellfire I mean, he, off he the top. He was just playing to his outs. Yeah. 
Uh, I think that the he I think uh, he was correct in picking the combo lock into the hand lock. Mm -hmm. I mean, because I'm pretty sure he was running two big game unders in that deck. Yeah, it was just unfortunate well. not drawing a single yep. one of these. And so it just happened. He got right? raffle stomped in that matchup. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. I think his queuing was good. I think he played well. Yeah. I think it was just uh, unfortunate that his opponent just had the the perfect cards. Yeah, I guess uh, so. that helped her off the top though. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Sometimes unlucky. Uh, that happens. So I guess we're going to take a break here. We're going to see uh, what is the next uh, match. So we have Freaky vs. Asmodai next match. It's the winner match, I guess? Yeah, yeah. the winner's match. And yeah. uh, so I like Asmodai. I watch his stream. He's yeah. a cool guy. He's fun to hang out with here. At the he event. is really cool. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. see your next series, guys. Take a break.